We're gonna change the belts on this unit. Got them off already. Big old, old cooling towel. I missed the, right there. Got the big old cage off. I'm gonna put on the new belts. So the first thing you do is you loosen up the nut here. Okay, so we need to push this motor out so that we can slide these belts on. Um, so I already loosened this nut right here. Now I got this on. Break a ball with a, with a socket. And I'm just, as you can see, how that guy is just sliding back. See, it was originally here. Now we're pushed in more. And uh, I'm just gonna keep moving it until I get what I need. So you gotta loosen this up put a socket on it and push the motor in that way this way push it in to loosen up the belts enough so you can put them on okay so that should be good right there so we got all five belts on normally the belts from what I hear, they don't make matched belts anymore. What matched means that it's made from the same rubber, same cereal, basically. Um, they're supposed to be five matched belts, but from what I hear, they no longer make matched belts. I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, so once you got the belts on, you go ahead back to that nut where you uh, loosened it up from, and now you go clockwise to bring the motor in. And we have our mark there. We're just gonna keep bringing it in. All right, I got my buddy right here. That's a good breaker ball, bro. Proto, baby. $176, but I paid only 20 for it. Not even. Garage sales, baby. You gotta go to the garage sales. Okay. And once we're done, once we get where, where we want the belts to be, how, you know, as tight as we want them, uh, but then we go ahead and we just tighten up this nut back. That's the nut that basically secures this uh, rod from moving. Keep going, buddy, keep going. You're almost there. So we're gonna get these tight. That's it. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. Thank you.